as our scene at the moment, as it is being you transmitted from the moon.
that same point you were making a moment ago, only about the lighting effect. That in fact, it's difficult to see where you're going uh, at this low angle, because you were much lower than the spacecraft was when it landed. And it's an uh, optical illusion. Looking a little distance, it looks like it's flat, but it's not. No, it really. looked like a dry salt lake, didn't it? In fact, they're now detecting that it's as bumpy there as it was near the uh, land itself. that uh, depression there at all when they walked out. 75 yards. That uh, might be our answer. Right beyond this next, these next two craters. Yeah, I think so. It's probably a pretty good spot. Spread out up there. CBS News Special Report. Ten years later, the flight of Apollo 14. Ten years after Al Shepard is walking on the moon, he never thought he'd uh, make it, or maybe he did always think he'd make it, but uh, no one else did. But uh, through six years of 
ear trouble, and uh, finally an operation, and keeping in training, and uh, fine physical shape, well, he got picked for this flight of Apollo 14, and there he is up on the moon. He is uh, right now running about uh, 10 minutes behind uh, on his work schedule, but that's happened on these moon trips before. Could hardly be uh, laid at uh, Alan Shepard's feet. Uh, they have now moved out from the uh, site of their landing, uh, probably, uh, we would guess, uh, though we don't have it specifically at this time, around 150 to 200 feet. Uh, they do have a, uh, some very good pictures uh, with the color television camera uh, showing uh, their motions as they get ready to set up the scientific package. Uh, they are precisely where they meant to be at this time. And Terry's landed earlier this morning, uh, almost eight hours ago now, right at the bullseye for the planned landing. They're finding the area much uh, more rugged, however, than uh, they had even anticipated. It's very rough, and they've been trying to find a smooth place to lay out this experiment uh, package. we're going to move about 10 meters Shepard said 10 meters. NASA has switched from the foot system to the metric system in the last few months. I noticed that throughout this flight, uh, uh, finally bringing them into line with the United States, uh, at any rate, into line with the rest of the world that uh, uses the metric system. And incidentally, a step in the direction of possibly sometime in the future cooperation with the Soviet Union. And we we'll have to adopt one of the other uh, systems, and almost everybody agrees internationally the metric system is it. It is the most practical, because you can use decimals all the way without the 5280 feet in a mile and all the other variables that make life very complicated. Chris, it came from Europe. Somebody's arm was three feet long, and you can start breaking it down from there. Okay, we're coming back on. This is where we're going to deploy. Well, I guess the primary consideration, of course, is to find a good site. Even the English are abandoning the system. I don't see why we should be stuck with it. <laughs> Interesting experiment. I 